All right, everybody. So today we're going to do a small, short market update on the city of Star in Ada County in Idaho. So a lot of people are asking, where's the market right now? Is it shifting? And since it does kind of shift quickly, it also shifted upwards very quickly in 20 and 21. And now it's kind of gotten stagnant at the end of 2021. And it's kind of shifted now downward in 2022 because of the rise in the interest rates. Things do change quickly, but right now it seems like it's actually kind of leveling off and it might actually be starting to curve upward on the trends. So we're starting to see a little bit lower days on market, that kind of thing. We're starting to see the prices kind of stabilize, actually go up in certain places. So in Star, Idaho, we do have an update for that. If you are interested in Star or Ada County or anywhere in the Treasure Valley, we do cover a lot of information on those areas. And in Idaho specifically, a lot of real estate questions are answered. So if you have any interest in that kind of thing, make sure you like and subscribe, follow our channel. We do updates on this stuff all the time. Otherwise, let's get into the video. Let's get into a brief market update for the city of Star in Idaho. Okay, so if you've done any research on Star, if you looked in Star, if you've been to Star, you know that it's a fairly small place. This was originally a small farm town and it's kind of grown into something else right now, but it's still a farm town. There's still a lot of farming that goes on. And so it is kind of a small town feel. It's still growing exponentially. Downtown is growing. We have more supermarkets now. We have more stores. We're getting a lot of restaurants. So it is actually growing a lot. There's a lot of room for business growth here, which is nice for business owners. I wanted to get into kind of a little bit of an update on it. What Star looks like? What does it look like with the market trend? How is real estate doing right now? So as far as the amount of listings that are listed right now in the city of Star, we have 156 listings and we have 65 of those listings with price reductions. And so as I've mentioned in previous videos, a price reduction doesn't mean that they're chasing the market downward. It doesn't have to mean that necessarily. It mostly means that they kind of shot their best shot. The market's on its way down. They might've known that it was worth a lot more six months ago. And so they were just kind of having dreams of grandeur and thinking, hey, maybe I'll just get lucky. Maybe the right person will come along. And despite their real estate agent's best advice, they listed it higher than it should have been. And now their real estate agent says, hey, you need to come down to reality. We need to get this thing priced a little more aggressively, something that's in line with the market. So that's all it is. A lot of times it's just people adjusting for the actual market versus what they thought they could get for it. So right now in Star, we have a median household price of $678,000, which in my opinion is actually very good. It's a lot higher than Meridian. It's a lot higher than Nampa. It's a lot higher than Caldwell. So it's a lot higher than a lot of places around. This is a very desirable place to live. I personally live in Star and I really like it. So it's a very desirable place to live and it's kind of smaller. So there's not as much real estate, which actually makes the demand higher. The average price per square foot is $301 per square foot for the houses that are on the market. The median household size of the houses that are listing on the market in Star right now is 2250 square feet. And probably one of the most important numbers that we look at to gauge how hot the market is in an area is the days on market. And we have a median days on market of 67 days on the market, which I thought was actually very impressive. I didn't think it was actually that good. It seems to be getting much better. We seem to be getting a lot lower days on market which is a very good sign. That just shows that, hey, we have just over two months of inventory here. And as I mentioned in other videos, we have to be considered a buyer's market. We need at least six months of inventory. So it's still firmly in the seller's market category. But if you're comparing this to last year or even the very beginning of 2022, this feels like a buyer's market. So don't be discouraged by that. If you're looking to buy a house, it's still very, very much easier than it was a year ago. I purchased my house in Star a year ago. And I would love to be buying a house right now in Star because we had to basically take whatever came in front of us and we had to pay whatever they asked. So there was no negotiation. Right now, you can actually negotiate. You can actually buy a brand new house. There's a lot of lots that haven't been started yet, have not been allocated. You can pick out everything you want and builders are trying to dump off their inventory before the end of the year. So if you're looking to buy right now might be an excellent time. So if you need anything like that, 
let me know. I can help you get lined up with a builder and we can get that process started. Okay, and so I wanted to go into like a fun fact about Star. I've been doing this on all the market updates. One thing about Star that's really cool, and I was actually wondering this myself when we were looking at buying in Star, is why is it called Star? That's such a cool name. Why is it called that? It's right next to Eagle. And those are two very patriotic thoughts for me as Stars and Eagles. So why is it called Star? Well, in 1905, there was not really much here. There was just a schoolhouse and a couple buildings, that kind of thing. It wasn't even really a, it wasn't even a city really at the time. And so we had a schoolhouse and there was a star on the side of the schoolhouse and people would actually use that star to actually tell them which way was east and west. So they knew how to get from Middleton to Fort Boise because that, that was a major way to get to there was through Star when it wasn't even Star yet. So people used that schoolhouse and that Star to guide them. And so once they incorporated the city in 1905, they named the city Star based on that schoolhouse that had that Star on it, which is actually a really cool story. So that wraps it up for our market update. So if you have any questions for us at all, if you need anything from us, our website again is idahopulse.com or you can actually leave us a message in the comment section of the videos if you have any comments or suggestions for us. Otherwise, you can give us a call at the phone number listed in the description as well. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.